Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Renewed Ga here. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Uh, it's the eve of uh, Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving in advance. So if you guys uh, follow me on IG, I posted a picture of my Neverfull uh, pochette as a clutch. And I made a comment there that it's not working for me as a clutch. Um, for some reason, uh, it's just not um, working for me at all. And I said on that comment that I would like to use it as a crossbody by having grommets placed on both sides. So, but I kind of scrapped that idea and I did um, something differently so I can use it as, as a crossbody. So I went to a shoe repair shop, which also repairs um, uh, high-end purses. So I went there and... Um, well, first of all, um, this is how it looks like. You know, if you guys have the Neverfull uh, pochette, if you bought the Neverfull NM, it comes with this pochette. And look how thin it is. Um, it has really no room to kind of like um, put your stuff in. So um, basically, I mean, you can use this probably as a, um, what you call this, as a, a jacket for your... Um, iPad I guess but I don't have an iPad and I really don't know how can this be practical to me uh, I mean for adding like another 300 bucks on my Neverfull I mean I really want this uh, pochette to be uh, practical so um, yeah so this is how she looks like this is from my Rose Ballerine so what I did I had another um, if you notice, there is a D-ring here where you could use it as a clutch. This is how it looks like. So what I did, I had the shoe repair guy put another D-ring on the other side. If you see it, folks, it's not as matching as the Vaqueta leather on this one, but my purpose is to make it as functional as possible for me. I first um, experimented of uh, putting um, like a strap from this side and to the zipper but the zipper will you know your bag will remain open like this so it's kind of like okay so I guess Louis Vuitton knows what they're doing instead of you know having the, the the zipper close to this side they made it close to this side so you know you, you can make you know make it as a, as a cross body so yeah so what i did is i just had the instead of a grommet on this side because i really don't want the um the material to be um uh, changed that much or amended that much so i just had the guy so um another uh letter uh thing here so he could put the uh, the d-ring to kind of like match the original d-ring on the side so this is how it looks like now. So let me take out this uh, hand strap that I came originally with the uh, the uh, the pochette. So um, I know I saw a lot of uh, never full um, owners uh, selling their um, their poch their pochette. So uh, I know for some reason it's not useful to them so uh, i've seen them selling this for 300 400 bucks on ebay and uh some of those um consignment shops but i don't have a plan of selling this um even though i i well i it, it came across my mind selling this one but i've seen a lot that was on sale and nobody was actually uh, grabbing them but so I said, just let, let me take the plunge and kind of amend it or tweak it a bit so I, this could be very practical to me. So there you go. So I spent like um, uh, $40 actually uh, in total because I had my other, um, well, this is the strap of my Dooney and Burke bag and this is also Vaqueta leather. It has like three components and it was really, really long. And um, what I did, I had the shoe repair guy um, cut it a bit here uh, to my length. This is kind of like 45 in length from tip to tip, I think 55 or 40. But uh, when I wear it as a crossbody, uh, it kind of like falls on my, on my hip. 
So I had him cut the other side. So if you see, guys, there are some, some holes in here. I had him cut here and kind of sew it back so he can put the clasp here. Because, I, like I said, there are like three components. It's so funky when you use it as a crossbody. It's kind of like there's one component here and one component here and one component here. And this is really long. And I just like it like this, so there will be like two parts to this one. And this is adjustable actually because there's also like holes on this one and I had it on the shortest one. So there you go. So with this new pochette, uh, amended pochette, tweak pochette, like I see now it's kind of like askew a bit but I don't really care. What I care about is... Um, I can use it practically like like I could use it as a crossbody. So so here she, this is how she looks like as a crossbody. So I can put my my uh, Dunian Burke strap here. I tried my um, strap from my um, Speedy B and it's kind of like so I have it here. It's kind of thick in size and it doesn't kind of like hold good or I mean it doesn't really like match well with with this pochette so I'd rather use this one this uh, vaquetta strap from my Dunian Burke bag and um, it for me I mean it's now a cross body bag that you can use um, see here you can use as a cross body and um, it's very practical. I can make it this longer to make it a little bit more nice. There you go, folks. See? I mean, I mean, if you are, I should say, um, bold enough or courageous enough to kind of like tweak your bag, I mean, go for it, but I don't, I, I, I wouldn't say recommend, but if, like I said, if you are brave enough to kind of tweak your bag like this, then go for it. If not, you know, then leave it as it is and use it as a clutch. But for me, I'm going to use it as a crossbody, so it will be more practical to me, so I don't have to, like, hold it all the time, because when you put stuff in this bag or in this pochette it will it will really really ripple and it really bugs me so instead of me holding it and kind of feel the rippling at least it's hanging on my sh on my um, shoulder and not feel anything about it so let's see I mean with, with stuff in it so I've been using my um, pochette um, my old pochette uh, this week and I have a whole lot of stuff in here if you can see um, let's um, transfer it uh, to this pochette and see how it looks like with something in it. So I have my um, my Hello Kitty uh, mirror, some napkins, um, my uh, lipstick from Daiso. Folks, this Daiso lipstick is, I would recommend you guys buying or uh, going to a Daiso store. I mean, this lipstick is a bomb. I mean, I, I really like it. I mean, it's it's not it doesn't have an aftertaste and it's just the right you know muted uh, color and uh, my uh, alcohol uh, wipe this um, antibacterial hand gel and uh, my little uh, uh, book what you call this address book and um, of course my my clay I my, my ever faithful clay um, like I said I if you saw my other videos, I don't use a wallet nowadays because the clay actually like took over uh, my wallet and this is very useful to me. I put all my cards in here and it's just perfect for me. And some, what's this, and some paper. Anyway, so I mean all those stuff um, I'm pretty sure will not fit in this one. Um, but let's see how it looks like with just the essentials. So first of all, I mean... I like my phone. I mean, well, I have to have my phone every time. So what I do, I mean, maybe just put it in the pocket. And um, this one, I really need it because um, I usually, well, I always bring my um, 
my agenda every day so this will replace my agenda because I have all my important information here like passwords and stuff so if if need be I mean it everything is in here so put it in there in my clay and look how it ripples now and then uh, I guess my napkin some tissue and I don't know if this will fit at all without it rippling so I don't know how the other folks can do stuff like that but I guess um, this thing will not fit and maybe just a lipstick I would probably can squeeze it in here well I don't know how but you know how thick is th this is and if I put my lipstick here and close the thing look how it looks like it's rippling so for me to hold it as a clutch and see the rippling like that it's kind of really uh, like bugs me so instead of holding it uh, let, I'm just you know I said let's make it like a, a crossbody so there you go as a crossbody I'm standing like that and yeah it's a crossbody bag I mean it's now practical to me I mean I mean there's a one option that I can use as a um, for this for this particular bag of course you can use other straps um, like uh, a chain strap a gold chain strap so this is one this is from um, this is a cheap strap from um, I bought a bag from Dooney, I know not Dooney Burke, but from Charming Charlie, and this is uh, the strap that's in that bag. And I was able to use this for a $12.99 bag. I mean, this is just, you know, a steal. So, this is one option. Is it uh, as use a gold chain? so there you go folks I mean I hope you guys um, like my little review on this one and if you are again interested I mean you may want to make your bags a little bit more practical so you can actually use them as opposed to them sitting in your closet so yeah so here's my never full pochette as a crossbody there you go and um, I always say don't let your bags rule you I mean if you can afford to buy bags like this uh, you know you, you gotta have to use it don't just like put it in the closet and let it sit there and not use it at all I mean the bags are meant to be used not to rule your life and they, they are to be uh, enjoyed I mean you know you guys only live once and you bought this with your hard-earned money and go ahead and enjoy it so there you go folks I hope you guys like my little review and if you do like it please do thumbs up I would like to um, thank all my subscribers uh, thank you for uh, watching my videos and uh, and supporting me so until then I hope you guys have a beautiful day and a very happy Thanksgiving until then stay beautiful be beautiful bye bye